Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of MHP Gaming. I'm AJ. And I'm Hawk. And today we are going to continue our Let's Play of Wild Arms. Thank you for joining the party. Let's go on an adventure. Time to invade the demons. Right. Get all right. up in their biz. Asgard, where'd you wander off to? So where'd I leave my golem? Dude. I need to get that ocarina. Dude, where'd I park my golem? Right. Always a good question. I keep wanting to hit X and use that uh, fast travel that like, they gave me on Alter Code. That was so nice. Oh, Alter Code spoiled you. That, uh, that game was actually kind of nice too. All right, ready? Let's do it. Are we gonna get a super cool, awesome cutscene? Yep. You sure the Earth Golem can handle this dreaded thing? Watch out for the shield boundaries. I think that's hand hand. Oh. If any part of your body touches the shield, you'll lose it. Okay, okay. We get the message. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Okay, princess. Do your thing. Tell this guy to neutralize the defenses. They are not tools, Jack. He didn't <laughs> claim... I know. Seriously. She is so fucking prissy. Please, Earth Golem, would you help us? Earth Golem be like, out my way! <laughs> Birches. Birches. Oh, that used to be a shield. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. This is fantastic. This is powerful, all right. And they say the anti-phasing shield is an offensive weapon. Let's get inside this thing. The enemy won't stay quiet much longer. Yeah, or you could, you know, attack it with the giant golem. Right. I don't think he'll fit in the front door. He makes his own doors. He's got like a disintegrating shield. Hmm. Blinking red panels. Could that possibly be a bad thing? Yes. Let me guess. Bombs? Woo! Got it in one. So what do those do? Trigger fights when you step on them? Yeah. Ah, good. So that means you don't get into any other fights while you're here. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Yeah, I was just mocking it. I'm pretty sure the game's not going to be that nice. Oh my god, you're fighting a pile oh, of rocks. And a mosquito. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the name of the pile of rocks. <laughs> oh my... Rudy faced as his nightmare. Wrenches. I asked her. Ooh, things in here can sure take a punch. Mm -hmm. You know, another nice thing Alter Code did was instead of making Protector or Force ability, which in this game is kind of useless, it was a gear, like the ability was a gear you could equip and give it to any character, but it was like the first one you get is definitely much more, the most beneficial on Rudy because, you know, he is made to take a hit. And it actually triggers pretty damn often on him. What's it do? Uh, basically he takes hits for other characters. Oh, 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 so it's like a cover ability. A jack lantern. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Jack Lantern. I'm Jack Van Buris. <laughs> Pretty sure it's supposed to be Jack o' Lantern. Oh, the regionalization on this game is just crap. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was just so funny. Jack Lanton. <laughs> ah, okay, that's what it does. <laughs> Seems to not matter if it's a uh, heavy red or or not. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's a chest. Okay, all right, it's the spotlights that I think trigger fights, and those things just shock the crap out of you. Oh, okay. They're shocking. I like how this guy just g gets generically called Wizard. I know, right? The wizard meows. Why not? Everything else meows. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, name him Gizaroff. Gizaroff? Yes. Gizaroff the wizard off? Yes. The cool people will get that reference. I do not. Damn it. Do, do I not jump? No. There we go. You're the expert. Love the jump effect. Like the jump sound effect. Why am I not using hand pan for that? You know what? Why is it. Oh, why is, sweet. Why is Jack not leading your party at all times? Oh, right, the skates. If this place wasn't so twisty and turny, I'd use them more. Yeah. What about me? I can turn back. Uh, I can turn back time and talk to dogs. Get in the back of the party, princess. We don't need your time turning ways here. <laughs> she all can ride Granger with that. Well, it could be worse. I could be doing some witchcraft, like using arms. Yeah, that's the real witchcraft, the guns. Yeah, she has literal magic, but yet Rudy's arms are witchcraft. I know, right? Someone didn't think that shit through. <laughs> Whoops, I can't blow that up with hand pan. I don't know. It's not hard enough. You can accomplish anything if you throw hand pan hard enough. Good times. Has a grouping ever been more iconic than wizards and pumpkins? Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like a basic bitch with a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> it's an iconic pairing. Not a basic bitch, a basic witch. <laughs> yeah, basic witch. <laughs> Whee! Jump, damn you. I fall for justice. Really? It's I was an evil in a door. door. So a trick that I used to exploit a lot in Wild Arms 3, and I can't I don't think it worked in Ultra Code, I can't remember. But when the encounter gauge, you had, you know, a couple seconds when the little exclamation point would pop up before the battle triggered. And if you were like near a door or a ladder, if you quickly jumped through the doorway or hit or grabbed onto the ladder, it would cancel the encounter without any loss to your points. <laughs> so I would do that all the time if I was like near a door and the exclamation point popped up, I'd like duck into the door and duck back out. Just, oh, yeah. just, just to avoid it. The nice thing about that game's systems, you could always get really creative with uh, with a lot of them, including that. There was a lot of different ways you could min-max your uh, encounter system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rudy, yeah. just jump! I don't care if you're afraid of heights. Yeah, if you wanted to get to the bottom of the abyss, you had to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, um, sometimes on the abyss, there are some floors where it was easier to just use the gale crest and just soar down the floor, grab the little uh, jewel, and then go back to the start of the floor. Oh, yeah, just go off the edge. Yep. Oh, yeah, I did that a ton. Yeah, Wild Arms 3 was easily the mo one of the most customizable, if not the most customizable of the series, including how you could cheat the damn thing. In totally unintended ways. Yeah, I wonder if the designers actually planned for people to intentionally go over the edge to avoid fights in the abyss. Uh, technically, I mean, you know, you can do it in this game. Not to avoid fights, but to, you know, zip yourself back to the start of a floor, just jump off an edge. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. 
Or depending on what you're doing, maybe the time turner the princess has. Yeah. Yeah, that'll that'll take you back to the door of a room. I'm starting to think this is the only fight in here. <laughs> How about a little enemy variety, demons? I know, right? You know, does that wizard kind of look like the dude from, um, um, that Moscow video? A little? <laughs> I was more thinking it looked like, uh, Skelly from Chrono Cross. <laughs> I was thinking it totally looks like the dude from the Moscow video. <laughs> Oh, I can't remember his name. Moscow. No. <laughs> no, he's a damn good dancer. Was a damn good dancer. Yep, this is the only fight here. Hope you like pumpkin soup. And that dude made capes look even more awesome than any superhero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like a zombie version of the Moscow dude. It's a zombie clown. Let's call it a wizard. Said the maker's wild arms. Yeah, I don't think they knew what they were doing half the time this game. <laughs> this game is a really weird combination of well thought out and totally half-assed. A lot of the best games are. Yeah. Oh my god, why you no different fight? <laughs> oh, that's a good time to sip some wine. <laughs> Alright, there's a Wild Arms drinking game for you out there if you want to give it a try. Anytime an enemy meows, take a drink. You can be so drunk. Yeah! The hey, Rudy. Even the stairs hate Rudy. Even the stairs hate him. Rudy ruins everything. Why? <laughs> the hell was the purpose in that? A strange device binds the door. Take the Jane approach. Explosives! There's a shibari rope on the door? What? The door is bound by something <gasps> strange? Oh, wow, I missed that one hard. <laughs> okay, you, you get bonus points, that was good. There's a strange device binding this door. And the door is like tied up in robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the door's bound, alright. Damn it, Rudy. Is your name seems unpredictable. This is why stairs hate you, Rudy. That's why everything hates you. Kill it, Jack. God. He always has to clean up after Rudy. Even Zeppet hate, hated you. He died rather than spend his life with you. Oh my god. <laughs> that is horrible. You are a horrible human being, and I hope yes. you burn in hell. Uh, I think that's pretty much guaranteed. Ah! No, thank you. <laughs> uh, who's that? Who do you think? Zed? No! Boomerang? No! Granny Goodness? Yes. It's Granny Goodness. Okay. I'll start voicing on who is Granny Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Who is it really? That's a spoiler. You want me to spoil uh, it? Alright, is it a guy or a girl? Yes. Is it a guy? Yes. Is it a girl? Yes. It's a guy, girl. So it's Lucide. It's a they, them. Uh, the teardrop is this way. What's the matter? Don't you want it? So you expect us to just follow you? Yeah, right. First of all, who the hell are you? What do you want? You're afraid, aren't you? Me? Afraid? You bet your ass. The one who does not have the courage to look at the truth is called a coward. A coward is afraid. All right, then. I'll follow you. Oh, my God, Jack. You are too easy. 
<laughs> Are you trying to manipulate me? Well, it worked. Let's go. <laughs> You don't even have to get drinks in them to get them to be that easy. <laughs> the photosphere is being prepped for travel. Hurry up and follow me. Um, do we need hello, a pickaxe okay. to follow you? Um, hello? We're not as good at phasing through matter as you. Can you hold our hand and take us with you? <laughs> Holy crap, more variety. Wow, there is a different enemy in here. Yes, the non-vampire vampires. And the non-wizard skeleton. Let's go. I kind of want to go watch that video now. <laughs> I have a feeling that's what we're doing after this. Oh, yeah. I love this song. Don't you judge me. You've already been judged. Well, hello. I'll tell you the truth. We share a common goal. I have no in <coughs> intention of fighting you people. I need your assistance. Yes. We must destroy Mother before the photosphere burns away all of the guy. Okay. Bruh, I do not like getting strung along. Oh, is it Zeke? Guess we'll have to wait and find out. True enough. Does this ass grow when he gets hit? Sure. Oh god, we left it to Rudy. Why did we leave it to Rudy? Hitting him in the face with his balls. Rudy got a tea bag. You know what you did, Rudy. He and Deku can just both sit there and feel bad over the thing they did. Twin yeah. orbs. Yay! Armor. The most unpredictable arm in the game. Well, at least those twins uh, don't end up creating a pocket universe. What? Remember Irvine and his sister? Irving. 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 You know, like, don't they go in, like, twin a universe to fight the big boss in or something? Oh, fuck if I know. Yeah, the ending of that game got very meta and makes all, very little sense. I'm sure we'll, we'll uh, go through it here sometime. Gives Rudy a light blow. Ooh, that's what I had hoped. <laughs> Just a light blow for you. Rudy gets his hopes up. Then it's not what he expected. <laughs> his hopes are back down again. Okay, seriously, who did the architecture on this place? It sucks. I don't like it. Oh, come on! <laughs> How much does Twin Orbs hit? Just a group? I have to check. It hits everything. Seems like it might be a valid gamble. I think it's only one. Oh. One enemy or one group? One enemy. Oh, okay. From what you said before, I was under the impression that it had multiple enemies. You ace. Did it just throw its eyeballs at me? I thought it launched its fists like a rocket punch. My god. I wasn't sure what just hit me. What body part of yours just hit me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Things you can say in a JRPG. So in this dungeon so far, we have... You're getting hit by the balls, eyeballs, and rocket fists, potentially. No, well, no wrenches, though. Get my stair count in today. <laughs> it's real good for the glutes. Jack cares about his glutes. <laughs> <sighs> Anyone 
don't see which one Orbs does. Ah, uh, if it's just one, I'm good without. No, 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 let's see which one Orbs does. Fair enough. Whew. Yeah, Princess, just squirt him. Twin orbs, and we got twin orbs. Yep. Okay, that does look like more of a rocket punch. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Because when you think wizards, you think rocket punches. Then you know, rocket punching wizards. Ah, 420. Alright. You know, it's too bad I don't, uh, you know, get into D&D &D because I would totally create that. Rocket punch wizards? Yes. Damn it! Okay, that's just being an asshole, Dan. Uh, skate through. Holy shit! Holy shit! Don't know how that works. Oh, something's happening on this floor. Uh, if you got a boss fight here, do you think maybe you should... I'm short on my words. Mother's hair, though. The warm light. I'm so relieved. What were you saying? Doesn't matter. The photosphere and the, mo uh, and the mother derive their powers from the teardrop. Now that the power is down, you can attack the mother. This is your one and only chance, humans. This is as far as I go. If you do not destroy mother now, your world will suffer the same fate as mine. Mother destroyed his planet. I couldn't care less. <laughs> Jack. We've been dancing in that guy's court all this time. Might as well dance the last song. Let's go for it. I never would really have pictured you as the dancing type, Jack. Please, I'm a dancing queen. Alright, how do I get to mother? Oh, oh, you probably have to go back down to that one uh, blocked passage. Yeah, probably. Can you skate these stairs to make it faster? Hmm, let's find out. Well, I'll save a few fights. But not this one. <laughs> Really? You don't say. Speaking of the obvious, here at MHP Gaming. <laughs> really, Jack? Let me down. Breaking my balls, Jack. All abilities raise 10%. Still not enough to kill that thing. Not enough to matter. <laughs> life train. Ineffective against Ruby. He never had a life. Sure, there he's useful. He went faster than Jack. Meow. A meowing skeleton wizard with rocket punches. Yep. Did they just put a bunch of words into a randomizer and just make enemies out of whatever came out of it? Pretty much. They're probably drunk as shit while doing it. I can imagine the giant party they had. <laughs> they literally just wrote down a bunch of like monster names and attributes, put them in a fishbowl, drank a bunch of wine, and pulled them out. That actually sounds like a really great way to make a video game. <laughs> we should do it. You know, I've seen worse games. Oh my god, I'm totally doing it. 
mean, I've played Last Remnant. <laughs> I don't think this will do what I think it does. It blinds them. Damn it. Silly, a flashing your enemies. Flash! Oh! Save your own, Togaya. Wasted my turn, Cecilia. say we, except he doesn't talk. Yep. Oh look, a complimentary save point. Aw, how sweet of them. Think of everything in the photosphere. Hmm. But they hope I enjoy my stay. Save points for your convenience of murdering us. I expect. Oh, here's the spotlights. I expect turn down service with little mints on my pillows. You've been turned down for that. <laughs> Jack has high demands. Jack, if you really need maids and a turn down service, just stay here in, the, in your pocket with me. What goes on in my pocket? Yes. Ooh, good luck. Nicely done. Don't fucking jinx me. Too late. Man, maybe you do know what you're doing. Hey, long time no see. The golem is attacking us. I thought. Maybe it forgot. It has been a thousand years. Oh, uh, not forgetting. She's pretty easy. Don't you fight her again elsewhere? No, oh, I haven't updated my runes in so long. <laughs> That's a hard hitting rune. That's a good for surviving punches rune. If I remember correctly. What am I damage with this? What I wouldn't give for some flipping force carrots or something. Uh No, I know, they're magic carrots. Oh, you're right. Do those even exist in this game? No. That was really nice in uh, 3. Oh my god, yes. And the ability for force power to advance with your <laughs> level. Oh man, just some of the later games spoiled you by comparison. Mysticking a full carrot? Mm-hmm. Oh, that was nice. Yes, oh yeah. Oh yeah, always mystic the full carrot. Even if it meant using a mini carrot to get Virginia <laughs> up to 25 FP to mystic full carrot. Hero. That hurt a little bit. Just a little. I don't think you have ambrosias.
Now, I think the strongest fast draw move Jack gets might be the one he gets from Parkland. That makes sense. It does. Alright. For a quick online search, weak to fire. Damn it. Fire effect halved. Son of a... It's not fair. <laughs> you always gotta hate it in Pokemon when the uh, Pokemon you're fighting lessens the uh, attack type you can use, especially when they're weak to it. Literally right when I'm about to use it. Literally right when I'm about to use it. Still a fair amount of damage. Yep. Well, I handled that. She did. That was easy enough. Oh, sorry, Lolithia. If it makes you feel any better, we had no connection with you. I can't believe that golems are on their side. Weapons only act according to what their user wants. That golem probably got reprogrammed. We're different. We can't be repro reprogrammed. Oh, Jack. How optimistic of you. Yeah, like my old ex-girlfriend. Yeah, no matter what, nothing could reprogram her. Well, will she even be his ex-girlfriend? Well, she's not his ex-wife. I'm not sure if they were ever actually, like, 100% romantically involved or just interested, or I'm not sure. They really don't go that in depth with it. Well, either way, he cared. Yeah, I know. For Jack, that's ah! hard. <laughs> <laughs> what I said, are you in the... <laughs> Almost getting hit by that thing. Yeah. Spotlight, that's what it's called. All right, well, you know what? Let's call it here. Sounds like a plan to me. In the next episode, we take on Mother. Woo! That Mother... Yeah, you, you know where I'm going with you that. Mother I don't need demon. to demon. I don't need to finish the joke. All right, well, thank you for joining us for another episode. Like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit. Check our uh, description down below to find our Discord. Head there to make suggestions for games you want us to make each other play. Other than that, see ya.